So the most important feature which is introduced in H264 is the ability to have multiple reference frames for motion estimation. So let's uh, uh, look at it a little bit deeper. Let's look at the uh, terms frame. A frame is a representation of the complete visual scene obtained by sampling at a given point in time. So what, uh, simply put, a frame is, uh, can be thought of as a still image. And a macro block is a 16 by 16 pixel region of a frame. So a typical size is 16 by 16. It could have other sizes like 8 by 8 and 4 by 4 and so on. So here is a macro block. So this image uh, is divided into 16 by 16 macro blocks. A reference frame is a previously encoded frame. So in this case, there's a reference frame and there's also a P frame. Uh, an object has moved uh, down towards the left and motion prediction is the process of finding a macro block within a search area of a reference frame that closely matches the current macro block. So uh, motion prediction is the process of finding this block uh, in a future frame um, you know, that has moved uh, basically and that closely matches a, a particular macro block. So, motion compensation is a process of subtracting an interprediction from the current macro block. Um, H264 provides the ability to have up to five reference frames. Uh, before H264, we had the notion of um, GOP or a group of fixed pictures, which is comprised of nothing but I frame, B frame, and P frames. P frame is a, f a forward predicted frame. B frame is a bi-directional predicted frame. Um, so you could have only one reference frame, in the case of P frame, and a pair of uh, reference frames for the B frame. But uh, uh, in H264, you have the ability to have up to five reference frames.